hello and welcome to my channel. Today I have a little seal find that I got and it is this gorgeous girl here. This is the LOL Twain series three and we have this lovely girl here. Unfortunately, because the sun's coming through, there's a bit of a shine when I try and show her off to you, but obviously I'll be taking her box anyway, so don't worry. Um, but yes, when I got her, um, Argos had her on sale for half price, so I nabbed her. Unfortunately, that sale's now over. Oh God, it must have been a very short sale. Um, but I did do a bit of looking online, and another doll that came out in the same series, the one that looks like she comes from Spice Girls, like she's called Pepper or something, um, she's currently, as I'm recording this, on sale on Amazon, so I'll put up a little snip ship, a snap here off the um, thing, and if I remember, I'll also link it down below. Um, so hopefully, as when this video comes out, it will still be on sale. Um, to any of you wondering why am I showing dolls that have been out for a long time, um, other YouTubers have already done this, like, months ago, if not years. Um, the reason why is, I feel like, well, number one, when these first come out, when they're, they're, they're first released, they're kind of dear. And I can't really bring myself to spend that kind of money straight away. What I like to do is wait for the sales. And I feel like most of my viewers are people like me who can't really afford um, to just buy dolls as soon as they come out. Maybe if it's a really big favourite and they're like, I really need this doll. But for the majority of the dolls, it's kind of like a hold out and wait. For example, the, was it the Mermaids they're called dolls? The ones that were like really big last year and everyone wanted them. They're for sale everywhere. If you go on Argos, if you go on Amazon, if you go on Smiths, all for sale. All massively discounted, on clearance, all that. So if you'd ever wanted one of them but just didn't like the price point, now's the time to buy them. And I'm kind of the same. I like to hold out... Um, and try and get them in the sales. And I imagine a lot of my fears the same. So um, I thought a nice wee thing about my channel would be that, especially if you're from the UK, because obviously uh, this helps you the most because I, I'm purchasing from UK stores. Um, it might be nice for you guys to know, oh, this doll that I really wanted um, is on sale. That's great. <laughs> um, so it means that maybe I can try and let you guys know if I come across a really good deal or not. Um, that's just my thinking. Um, obviously if there is a doll out there that I really really want that just comes out, I'll purchase it. But for the majority of my dolls, they're either second hand or I've got them on sale, just to let you guys know. Um, so I hope that's okay with you. Um, but I also think it's really great because it then shows you guys that even if you don't have a big wallet like me, you can still build yourself a lovely doll collection. Um, by just, you know, being thrifty, either going second hand and doing them up like some of these dolls or waiting until the sales, that kind of thing. You can do it, it is possible. Um, so that's kind of a part of what I want my channel to be like. So that's just let you know. So this is the one that I got. I'm just so disappointed she's no longer in sale because I would love to anyone who wanted her to be like, yes, I even looked at other places to see if she was in sale anywhere else. Currently she's not, but if you never know, maybe Argos will do another summer sale or something up. We can always hope. <laughs> if she does come up on sale again, I'll try and let you know. Um, but here she is in box. So she is called Marilyn Star. So I wonder if she's like, um, sort of like Marilyn Monroe kind of thing. Uh, and yeah, so yeah, it's Chloe Pepper. That's the one who is currently on sale on Amazon UK. If you wanted her and held out. Um, I would love to get the Ema Emma. I think her colouring is absolutely gorgeous. And I already have um Nia Regal because I think I got her in a previous sale I can't remember I think it was an Amazon sale I got her in um so she is I think over here yep there she is <laughs> behind me there so now she's got a friend to join her so that's amazing anyway enough waffling I tend to do that don't I um but yeah enough waffling for me let's get her out of the box and um we'll see what she's like and I didn't think to bring scissors well, of course I didn't. Hold on, there's scissors right over here. One second. In fact, you know what I'll do? I think I am going to take her out of the box um, off camera because it's very fiddly and then I will come back to use. Well, let's see. Let's slide her out first and then maybe if I can and then I'll maybe do the rest off camera. Let me see. Can I do it or is it going to be too fiddly? This is the one thing I don't like about collecting dolls, is trying to get them out of the box. 
that is the main problem. Here we go. She's moving. There we are. I've gotten her out of the box. Well, partially out of the box. There she is. Very detail. And I love this here. Oh, I think you can actually open this. This is like a mirror. And you can actually... And that reveals all the surprises. That's awesome. So yeah, there's all her... Oh gosh, I'm taking it all my time. <laughs> there's all her surprises there. I didn't know you could do that. That's quite fun. I wonder if you could have done that with a regal one. I just never bothered. Um, but yeah, she's really, really pretty. I love keeping trying to keep at least some of the packaging like maybe this side here because it hasn't got any stickers or anything on it i might try and keep that because i'm a crafter so <laughs> anytime i see anything pretty that i can maybe reuse i suppose a bit like um froggy stuff <laughs> and i've just realized i'm injuring myself <laughs> i must like i give myself a paper cup this video is going fantastic anyway i'm gonna pause this get her out of packaging get my finger clean and um get back to you in a second okay and i'm back it always surprises me just how much paper cups bleed <laughs> like, that was ridiculous but anyway yeah careful when opening in case you get a paper cup <laughs> um but yeah she's out of the box now so let me grab her so she's down here and you get myself a little small table at the same you know so i'm not constantly dipping down but anyway that's a problem for future <laughs> to figure out here she is out of packaging and isn't she beautiful? She's got these little strands of hair at the front. Um, just a word of warning for those of you, because I know there's some doll collectors that don't like this. There is tinsel in her hair. I know there are doll collectors out there that aren't a fan of tinsel. There is some in her hair, but it's mostly just at the front. So it's in the wee pig, the not bit, what's that called? Like space buns. <laughs> um, and also in this bit here. And the rest of the hair is not in, but as you can see, it's very, very pretty hair. Here she is herself, she's got a wee beauty spot on her above her lip there gorgeous blue eyes and i love her outfit it's very pretty so she's got these um trousers and they've got this amazing detail down the sides and then we have one leg has a glittery effect and the other one's plain she's got these gorgeous um heels <laughs> with little bows on them um not sure if you can see that but yeah there's little bows on them and let's see She's got this gorgeous jacket on, which matches with the little bows. Oh, she's also got like a belt. And then she's got this lovely top. I love to wear a top like that. I love corset like tops. Um, but <laughs> put her in free and for you. But yeah, she's very, very pretty. Um, as usual, OMG dolls always do, uh, especially the twins. I love the twins. So let me see what's in the surprise bag. So she must definitely be like movie star, Marilyn Monroe kind of thing. Because as you see this one here, we've got an award. Have you open this one up? Let's see what's in here. Let's go. And then we got some wrapping paper. Or tissue paper even. <laughs> and we have some glasses. Um, I'm personally not really a fan of sunglasses on dolls. I don't really like the look of them. Um, I tend to take the sunglasses off the doll. That's what she looks like anyway if you do decide to put them on. I'll probably take them off. I think it's because they have such beautiful faces that I feel like sunglasses because they usually come so big and bold and all they kind of um hide that gorgeous face and yeah <laughs> maybe like I don't mind them so much if they're maybe like on top of the head so let me see if I can do it on her so like when they're sitting on top of the head I, I don't mind as I guess that yeah that's okay <laughs> but when they're over the eyes and all um, obviously for the dolls that wore actual glasses, like, um, I think my murder doll has glasses on from Encanto, um, that's absolutely fine. Um, as someone who also wears glasses, I'm wearing my contacts today, but usually I'm wearing my glasses. You know, and it's nice to have dolls that, you know, represent us people who have terrible eyesight. <laughs> um, but, so I don't mind normal glasses, but sunglasses I'm not, eh. I'm not as fan of so she is just holding her popcorn she's going to cinema i guess uh, and then i can just see that popcorn about the phone um i'm not sure this one. Oh, it's like um the red carpet i imagine so that's like the red carpet let's open that up and this is her handbag and does it open i think it does hold on or am i gonna break oh it does open <laughs> okay let me show you so there we have it and it says oh it's like bb on it 
uh, and it's got like a chain effect it's all plastic though and it's like pink bag and yes you can open it so you could put things in it if you so wish and you can clip it shut again as like a little hole there and thing goes through um so there's that oh that popcorn's staying on i am impressed <laughs> usually whenever you put the accessories on them or like those sort of things they tend to fall off pretty quickly and the glasses don't want to stay they're like i want to go on her face but i don't want you to <laughs> there we go so she's get she's coming together she's coming together okay last surprise um marilyn star so that was obviously her uh is it star what are they called um the famous thing oh i don't know what it's called you know the thing in hollywood they have all the stars in the walkway um yeah, anyway <laughs> she's got that <laughs> she's got her name down there so like the celebrities do is it like um a thing that they get award to them or do the celebrities pay for it themselves i've always wondered that <laughs> but anyway that's a different subject for a different day she has a little necklace with a uh, moon on it. it looks like saturn maybe sorry my camera's not really focusing that much well on it um but yeah there you go put that on her it's kind of sitting up a bit i think it's because of the jacket maybe that will help not really there we go and she's also got there it's a bit better earrings which are very glamorous so they're like a sun i think and then just lots of <laughs> dangly gems i'm imagining it's all made of diamonds in her world in the omg world it's just all diamonds i wonder what an omg live action movie would look like the way we're getting the barbie movie i wonder what the omg version that would be <laughs> or the brats version actually no the brats did have live action didn't it i'm pretty sure it did <laughs> anyway that's just me thinking as i'm decorating <laughs> here we are so she's still holding the popcorn, but the but the um, handbag's fallen. Anyway, here she is. She's got her earrings in and her necklace. She's still holding that popcorn. She's got her sunglasses in. She's looking amazing. And now, what else she came with? She also came with a hairbrush. And she came with this little booklet, um, composition book, Marilyn Star. And inside it, it says this or that, Royals make a scene standing out movie stars behind the scene fitting in oh this must be like um what is it like a magazine maybe i'm assuming i don't know <laughs> no idea um and then down here sorry i'm keep coming out of focus for you and let's come picking this up this is the stand that all the dolls come with which i love it sees me having to buy a stand so it says um tweens on it and you just slide this on and let's get her on without more stuff falling off there we go so there she is looking amazing hold on let me get her um handbag that fell in a second and i have it <laughs> so let's pop that back on her oh i also i didn't sell you that she also has her nails painted i forgot to give you that detail don't know if you can see there her nails are painted a lovely pink color I need to get my nails painted. My nails are awful. Um, in case I wonder about mine, because I I don't know if you can see or not. Like my hands covered in scratches. I was attacking brambles yesterday in my garden, um, which is another reason why I need to get my nails done because gardening and nails just don't go well together. <laughs> anyway, here she is. There's her handbag, her popcorn, all her accessories are on. Sunglasses up because you can't watch a movie with your sunglasses on. And yeah, she's ready to go and walk the red carpet and go to her movie premiere. She looks amazing. So let's go get her to join her friend. There she is. You by the way, mermaid. Hold on, she's not. What do you think? There we go. They're now together. <laughs> anyway, that was my video. What do you think of her? If you have seen her on Sailor anywhere, especially if you're from another country. So if you're watching this from like South America, Canada, um, who else watches me? <laughs> what other countries watch me? I have no idea. I think someone from the Philippines watches me. That's kind of cool. It is amazing seeing all these, whenever I look at my analytics, it's like um, this many of your 
um, your ship is from this country. It's like, wow, <laughs> that's really interesting. But anyway, um, wherever you're from, <laughs> if you um, know of her being on sale anywhere in your country, you know, maybe comment down below so people can see for themselves. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is me. Hopefully some of you do get a good deal on the, the tween dolls. Um, if I see any more on sale, I'll try and let you know. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a little bargain on your dolls, I'm the channel for you. Um, but until next time, I will see you in the next video.